It's a very summer-like May 2021 out near the Bashakil, which leads to flood, or excuse me, drain. It's a swamp today and habitat for uh, bald eagle and osprey and amongst other things. But they used to drain it and farm it every uh, summer. And then right here, believe it or not, you know, normally this is uh, not a good time of year to shoot out here in the, in the world, but I'm on the towing path of the D&H Canal. Uh, this is a section currently maintained by the New York State DEC, just north of Westbrookville. There's an unnamed basin that you can't make out. I mean, you kind of can, but there's an awful lot. Of, even with the leaves down, you would have a hard time making this out. And uh, this was Nicholas McShane's property. He had a house somewhere over there. But this was at somebody else's house. It doesn't say whose. It was still McShane's property. And this is what's left of it. It was right on the side of the towing path. Hard to say. But clearly a, clearly a cellar hole, as I like to refer to him. Down off the tow path now. This is as wide as we get, too. So here's... First uh, two, just a little, and maybe this is the remains of another very small structure, but there's this stonework built out here on the side of the towing path. Here's the towing path here. Um, probably in the fall, I'll come down. There's a really wonderful stretch where you can really clearly see the post-enlargement and pre-enlargement towing paths. But that, that's for another video, folks. Today, I just thought there's not a whole lot. This is part of the 17-mile summit level. Water ran both ways to the Hudson and to the Delaware. Um, amazing that, that in 1825 they can engineer a, a completely flat um, canal for a 17-mile stretch like this. But this, what's left in the ground, this is foundation walls. Just figure we're here, we might as well. All of that in there, yep. Um, Kind of interesting. This is all stonework from the canal era. This is a stretch that might have had water as late as 1901, 1902. Um, not sure, this stonework, again, there's that bump out there. I don't know what that's all about. Um, you know, they didn't just do it because they liked the way it looked, I'll tell you that much, even if I can't tell you what they were doing. Um, you would be an okay thing to have a house right on the side of the canal. We always speculate that maybe it belonged to a, uh, a watchman. So you come over here, this is pretty cool too. Maybe I'm gonna have to come back here in the fall because you gotta see through the green more, but there's the stone berm wall over there. Uh, Nicholas McShane's house was somewhere over there and I don't know if I'm brave enough to try and see if there's anything left of that. And we just sort of come along here. This is such an underutilized stretch, this Bashakill stretch of the DNH. There's a New York O&W trail the other side of the Bashakill, the eastern side. And it just doesn't seem like people enjoy this enough. You can access this from the north at Haven Road. You can go uh, in Stony Field Lane. That's a DEC, New York State. Uh, take your all-wheel. It's not an easy access. And that brings you right up to where there was a guard gate and a bridge. Um, but here we're south of there between uh, there and Westbrookville. Get our bearings once more, the Bashakill out there. Great place to go paddle if you're a paddler. Want to come full circle. And uh, looking south, southwest on the DNH Canal bed here uh, on the Bashakill stretch of the DNH Canal, just uh, north of Westbrookville. You know, as I look at this, continuing, we're still, you know, the map said that there was a house and that there was a barn, and I'm wondering if maybe that's all that's left, that right angle there. If this wasn't, this looks like the right length, if this wasn't the barn building. So there was the house that's on the 1854 D&H Company maps, from a survey from 1854. Uh, and then this would be, uh, you know, I speculated when I was on the other side of the house, what was that bump out? Um, I think maybe that was the, the, all that's left of the barn. It's always interesting when I get out here. I look for stuff that's on the maps. Sometimes I find it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I find stuff that's not on the maps. Um, you always find something. Part three. In part two, which you probably just watched, I speculated 
I said, maybe I'd go to McShane's house, try and find Nicholas McShane's house. And so just as I went past where there was a house and the barn, quite possibly, I noticed that post canal era, somebody filled in right here. So now we can just title this, The Search for Nicholas McShane's House. Uh, I have a very bad track, re track record, people, uh, with this kind of video. Um, if you've seen Search for the Lime Kiln, it's not there. Um, I went searching one time for Webster's Lock. Should have read the secondary sources. It's it's long gone. Uh, I did discover discover a bridge abutment that the I believe the property owner mistakenly thought was part of a lock. But uh, so two times maybe will this be the charm? Will this time will I finally find evidence of what I'm looking for? Nicholas McShane's house. Well, this is clearly a path of some sort. I don't see any signs of a past building in here. I'll tell you, I'm on a prominence right here, kind of above and alongside the canal that probably would make a nice house site, nice and level. It's possible it was here and now it's gone. You know, if I was a better at reading these maps, uh, I think I'm going to wait for the fall to venture out there because it could be somewhere out there. Once I saw the sign of a road, I figured that somebody, somebody kept up a road for some reason. And I thought maybe, just maybe, this would get us to Nick's house. <laughs> We're old friends now. Now it's Nick's. I've done this stretch enough that I've seen a lot of the DNH features on it, although I'm constantly restudying and getting out with the maps. But it's fun when you come across these clear signs of activity. So what I'm seeing, and you see a lot of um, just back before those two definite, well, one definite cellar hole, one pretty definite cellar hole, um, was the corner of a property. And indeed on the map, that was the corner of McShane's property. You could see there was a Farmer's field, very clearly delineated white angle, much like these stones were stones pulled up in a field that was being cleared. I mean, generally speaking, if there was a house there, especially here with no way to get stuff out, you should see some remains, even, you know, this is 2021, so it's been a century possibly since somebody's, uh, since somebody's occupied this area. It's not really connected too much to stuff. Well, this is sort of interesting. I'm pretty sure now I'm too, pretty, pretty well too far back for Nicholas McShane's house anyways. But I just thought, follow the road. What's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst that could happen, people, is that you can find your way barred. That's right. <laughs> Presumably, if I follow this out further, um, I haven't seen any no trespassing signs. Presumably, if I follow this out further, it must connect to Route 209, the storied old mine road. And uh, So, I've got to the end of the road, the big stop sign. We come back here. Here's where somebody breached the canal bed in the after 1902 or thereabouts, 1901, 1902, uh, so that they could access here. And the road probably goes out to 209. I consulted the maps a little more carefully. I'm pretty sure, in fact, those two buildings really were exactly um, the barn and house. They're, they show up on the map right on the towpath like those two, and they appear to be that close. And if they're right, then Nicholas McShane's house would have been somewhere. It was directly opposite what I take to be the uh, what I take to be the barn location. Now, if I'd been a little smarter, God love me, I um, I might have uh, put a marker up that I could see where that other stone is. And maybe I'll have to come back and do that. This may not even be B-roll. Um, oh, 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 oh. Oh, whoa. Well, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's much better. After a uh, 
Look at me, boy. You know, yesterday I, I, I immediately found a, a burial ground for people of burial ground for people of color in Marble Town that I'd heard about, and now on my first go around, here is clearly the cellar hole, and what we've got right here. Um, this is really kind of fun because uh, here's the stairway down to the lower level, but it would have been to judge. It was either a crawl space, but if it was living room, it could be that the level of the floor. I'm going to guess it was a crawl space, although there's an interesting gap over there. I don't know if that's just missing stonework or part. Of, that's probably just missing stonework. Wow. So, you know, I, I, I decried my ability with maps. Here's a little cutout for a window. I'm going to say right there. Um, this is... So, you know, you can't underestimate the value of having these maps to go by. This was so hidden, I went right by it. And then I consulted the map and said, let me just go look again. What really keyed it into it was that stonework. I don't even know what that's for. Um, well, this is very exciting. You know, I was, I was due for a, as I said at the beginning of this piece, I was due for a, uh, to actually find the thing I went looking for. Oh, fire, look at that. So we can, we can tell you that perhaps the reason why Nicholas McShane's house is no longer here uh, is fire, fire right there. But here would have been the way into the lowest level of the building. Um, if it was anything like my vernacular house of a similar size, it might have had a, a, a main first floor here and then a shorter um, second floor with maybe eyebrow windows and the like would have been very common. Of course, I'm referencing my own house. It's very possible this was completely different. Speculation. It's okay for us historians to speculate. It's just good if we make clear to you that we're speculating. Yeah, when I finally took a closer look at the map, I, I realized I got a better sense of how off, if I was right about where the two buildings were, this building wasn't that far off the canal berm side. I've got questions about how those houses on the other side, the closest bridge, well, the closest bridge is less than a mile. That would have been the way they would have gotten. Um, this was on the business side over here. The other side was the canal cut it off. And so uh, that's why they had some 200 bridges in the canal era. Um, yeah, there's, uh, there's some stonework here, whether from a garden, um, or what. I'm, now I'm really speculating, folks. Um, don't see any poison ivy, that's good. But what do you know? Managed to find Nicholas McShane's house. <laughs>